Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and insights for Monday the 31st of July through until Sunday the 6th of August 2023. As we move into this first week of August, we have the a super moon. So we have two super moons in the month of August. The first one being the second at 4.31 a.m. if you are in the Southern Hemisphere. This is an Aquarius super full moon. And the second one will be occurring on the 31st of August and that will be a Pisces super moon. So as we move into this week ahead, as we're feeling the build up and the lead up, to this super full moon. It is a perfect opportunity for you to really start to consider consciously and intentionally what it is that you are ready to let go of, you are ready to release, you are ready to surrender to the infinite and unconditional, compassionate, loving, universe, source consciousness, the divine, goddess, whatever your definition of your higher power is. The sign of Aquarius is an air sign. However, it is symbolized with the water bearer. And so that combination, you know, water is healing, water is our emotions. An air sign is very much you know, thought driven, very much having awareness and attention placed in the mind. And so this super full moon is opening a portal of healing. It's an opportunity, it's creating space for healing. And it is going to be bringing through high vibrational healing light and energy that is going to be guiding you to lovingly release, to let go of the heaviness that you carry in your heart and your soul. Now, some of that heaviness may be what you've personally experienced in your lifetime. Some of that heaviness may be because you are highly sensitive and an empath. And not only do you carry the weight of your own sadness or your own life experiences, you're potentially tapping into the heaviness of the collective. Perhaps you're carrying with you the trauma and the heaviness of your ancestral line, your genetic line. And so there will be strong healing vibrations that are also amplified and it's of the heart that is also ampl amplified by Venus being in retrograde. And so really tune in, activating your higher self, tapping into your intuition, aligning your intentions and your attention and your awareness into your heart's wisdom and asking yourself, your heart, your higher self, what am I willing and prepared to release and let go of? What is no longer mine to carry? What are the burdens that are wearing me down, dragging me down, holding me back, that I am ready and willing to hand over to the divine presence of all that is? You may find yourself feeling extra sensitive and emotional as we enter into the lead up. We're already in it, but as we move closer to the amplification and the illumination of this super full moon. This also, as we move into this full moon and it being in the sign of Aquarius, you may also find that a lot of your attention is of the mind. 
that you are feeling cluttered, that you are, the mental mind chatter almost feels like it's overwhelming you and getting out of control. And this is where it's important for you to support yourself in a healthy way, in alleviating, lessening and allowing space in your mind when it feels full of chatter. For some of you that may be your meditation practices, you know, and perhaps you could come into rather than a guided busy meditation, perhaps there is a mantra that you can use as your anchor. And whenever we use mantra in meditation, we say the intention or the mantra and then allowing that to release out into the universe. And then when a, a mind thought, so a mind thought is a thought or an image or an idea that comes. When that comes up, saying the mantra again and then allowing it to release. Another thought or an image arises, say the mantra again and then it releases. And you may feel like you're saying it uh, very quickly. So one of my favorite mantras is Sat Chit, Sat Chit Ananda, which is the bliss of the universe. It's bliss, it's universal consciousness, it's universal unity, it's love really. And so you might find, or you might want to just use an I am mantra, I am peace. You know, that could be your mantra, I am peace. And you may find that you're saying that quite quickly, but over the course of your, the length of your meditation, could be five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, you'll find that that starts to slow down. For others of you, it may be journaling. You know, if you can get all of those thoughts out on paper, write them out. For some of you, it may be that you need to verbally express through talk expression to release the mental mind chatter in your head. For some of you, it may be getting out in nature or you may just feel that you need additional grounding. Whatever it is for you, Aquarius energy under this super full moon is offering you the opportunity to clear the mental chatter the psychic debris, the emotional, it's like decluttering all of the fullness of the emotions, the psychic debris, the mental chatter from your vessel. And it's clearing all of that from the vessel of what you, of what you are, which is a vessel for your soul, a vessel for your higher self, a vessel of light. So how can you bring lightness to the vessel that is your human expression? And in doing that, you're transmuting it. What does that mean? You're handing it over to your higher power, to source consciousness, to your angels, to spirit, to the universe, all that is. For that to be healed and blessed so that it can be dissipated, so that it can be absorbed by source consciousness. And this will allow space in your heart and your mind and your soul for you to be making decisions for you that serve your best and highest good, that serve you in the best possible way. This full moon is also supporting you and helping you to release and let go. That's what a full moon is for, to support you in letting go. We also have the asteroid Charicolo that is present during this super full moon. Now this asteroid, she is very much connected to healing. 
and is here to support you in tapping into the spirit medicine, the medicine that will support your spirit, your soul, your heart in finding the right medicine for you. Now, for some of you, that may be energy healing. For some of you, it may be herbs, it may be plant medicine. For some of you, it may be essential oils. It may be the right therapist. It may be the right spiritual teacher. Whatever it is that serves your best and highest good and supports you in your healing journey, that supports you in your spiritual awakening, that supports you in recharging your body, your mind, your soul under this full moon. And the invitation is there for you always to tune into the intuition of your body, your heart, your higher self, and allow that to be the guide. Allow yourself to be intuitively led to the appropriate medicine that best supports you where you are in your life right now. So what further support in this week ahead? Oh, and of course, as we move into this first week of August, we are and have entered into the portal, the Lionsgate portal. Now this is an opening, a gateway, and it's attached and aligned also to Sirius, which is our spiritual sun. And the Lionsgate portal is preparing us for the eighth of the eighth activation. And this is a time where we are receiving such incredible support from our star brothers and sisters incredibly high vibrational frequencies are coming through to us at this time. This is a time where myself, I had a, an amazing experience uh, last, last night on my drive home. It was on dusk and, um, you know, our star brothers and sisters are present in our skies right now. And when you open yourself, when you allow yourself to be open to the support and the guidance and the downloads of light frequencies that are available to you during this time, you will have access to your soul's vibration. You will have increased amplification of your intuition, the voice of your guides, your guardian angels, your loved ones in spirit, you'll, you'll have, I want to say, a freer experience of accessing all that you are in your purest form during this time. Okay, so apparently I still can't shuffle. <laughs> All right, what additional information do we need to know? What else can support us in preparing ourselves energetically, spiritually, heart-based in the week ahead? Inner Earth, base chakra, strength and security, lame foundations. We can only expand a level of consciousness. We can only expand vibrationally. We can only raise our level of consciousness and our understanding and our connectedness to source consciousness as deeply as we are grounded to the heart of the earth. As the frequency of the earth raises, we want to be connected to that. We want to be transforming and evolving with the planet as well as our higher level through our higher chakras. 
So when you are deeply anchored into the heart chamber of the earth, then you will be more strengthened, supported and anchored to rise up and evolve through your higher chakras to connect to source consciousness frequency to receive downloads to awaken to your highest i want to say your highest level of intuition at this stage in your life so that is what will support you as we move into and move towards the Lionsgate portal as well as during this full moon, super full moon. So ground, my friends, anchor yourself into the heart chamber of Mother Earth. As we have the influence also of Venus in retrograde, all about heart, love, relationships, beauty. How can we further support ourselves? on a heart level in this week ahead let it rain allowing what is inevitability and trust how beautiful is that let go of resistance a full moon what resistance are you prepared and willing to release and let go of where can you allow yourself to accept what is Allowing yourself to be the observer of yourself and your situations. Allowing yourself to ask yourself, how would love see this? How would love view this? How would love choose to judge this? What would love decide? What would love decide? And even in that is a level of acceptance because you're accepting the guidance and the perception of a higher source than your ego. So rising above your ego, resisting ego is accepting what is. Who is here to further support us in the week ahead to navigate these energies and frequencies. Oh yes, Sanat Kumara. How amazing is this? Why activation? Shine your light, your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Sanat Kumara is here and what I'm being drawn to is the staff but to me it's almost like I, what I'm being shown is you know this being the uh, what is attracting the lightning strike to it it's almost like lightning is coming down it's going through this staff and then that's being like stuck into the, the earth and then that light frequency that download is then being dispersed throughout the earth and then flowing up through the feet of those of us who are walking the earth at this time. So Sanat Kumara can support you not only in preparing yourself to receive the downloads that are available to you he can also support you by holding space for you, giving you strength and I'm getting the word compatibility. So supporting you in on a cellular level to ensure that the compatibility there is there to receive the frequencies, the vibrations and the downloads that are coming through in the week ahead. I've recently received some beautiful soul light code activation cards. So what is the light code that will further support us? Now this will just be for you. You can pause on this to 
allow the light code to transfer to you its frequency to support you in the week ahead. What have we got? <laughs> Divine unity coming together. How beautiful is this? Divine unity coming together. And isn't that what that is all about? The remembering that we are not separate from each other or source consciousness. We are not separate from the earth. We are not separate from the stars. We are connected in all ways, in all dimensions, in all time and space. So I hope that those messages serve you well. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. And of course, you can head to my website to discover how I can further support you and work with you on your awakening and transformational self-discovery journey. Namaste, blessed be.